What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Chad, we about to get into Blueface's update on breaking, uh, well, on his um, probation type situation. This is part one. I actually already reacted to part two uh, on accident. So here we are. I'm going to get into this one. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your girl, your favorite paralegal, aka Cassandra Lynn, and welcome to Legal Doc Talk 24-7. I am coming to you guys today with an update on Blueface. Apparently, the hold that we seen yesterday on the Sheriff Los, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department has uh been depleted <laughs> and when i say depleted it is gone so he no longer has the hold on his nevada case so looking at so I this is what i was telling y'all that she had just did that other video right after she did that video like she said like overnight that hold was gone i can show you guys uh it has the arrest date because I even Bell, reported the whole the housing the whole. location, the court, the release, and then case information. So there is no so if you go on the yesterday's video when I was going through the court docket, it showed the hold. Now the hold is gone. So he has no hold for Nevada. So going to his Nevada case, court case. As you can see, I don't want to check. Okay, so it does show that the case status is closed. Things change that quick. And if we scroll all the way to where the bench warrant. So initially, you remember he went in back in January when he turned himself into Cali. So what happens that issued a probation violation violation because he was arrested right, right. so um a violation report was entered on january 31st then on february 1st a bench warrant was issued then on 6 13 a motion for that bench warrant was filed the clerk scheduled it for a hearing on the 13th. And so that hearing took place on the 17th at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m. And then on Friday, an amended judgment of conviction was entered. So that means that the conviction, they amended it. And so what that means I have to get a copy of his actual, well, a, a copy of that amended judgment. So that way I can see exactly what was added on there. Let me see if I can see to the top. She gets to that in the second part. Y'all going to see it on this video. No, I don't see on here. So I am going to get a copy of that and then make another update with you guys and we'll go over the amended judgment of conviction so as of right now as you can see his hold is gone from nevada the bench warrant has been vacated and his judgment of conviction has been amended by the las vegas judge and then so about once to i free. obtain a copy of that i will give you guys another update as to what his new terms and new convictions are for the Las Vegas case. So y'all, I'm at the second part to this video. That boy about to be free. J July 29th. But that's alleged. Y'all uh, tap into both videos. Let me know what you're thinking. Of course, down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah. This is your favorite paralegal, Miss Cassandra. <laughs> Hey, 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 it's your girl, your favorite paralegal, a.k.a. Cassandra Lynn. Welcome to Legal Doc Talk 24-7.
And this <laughs> I is calling her Cassandra and it's Cassandra. Cassandra. Going to be part two of the blue face update. Let's hop into it. So uh, as discussed in a previous video, the hold for Nevada has been lifted. The jail records updated overnight to reflect that. Okay. Going into the court docket, it showed that there was a motion uh, to quash the bench yeah. warrant. There was a hearing that took place and an amended judgment of conviction was entered onto the document and the bench warrant, and I said document, docket, and the bench warrant was quashed. So I did tell you guys quashed. that I was going to go pull the um, minutes so that way I can see exactly what went on in that hearing. And I have that pulled up and let's take a look at that. So the case is now closed. The last entry was, um, as I stated before, the, let's see, the amended judgment of conviction. Uh, let's see. Okay, so 617 docket entry, the motion to quash. That was heard on the 24th. Quash. Hey, Google, what does quash mean? Quash. Meaning. Reject or void, especially by legal procedure. Yes, I had to go look that up. Never heard of quash in my life. Okay. All right. And here is the minutes. So on 617, it was a conference that was scheduled, but they continued the matter. Um, and then on the 24th, this is the actual hearing. Uh, Mr. Porter presented via telephone from California, says upon court's inquiry as to the supplemental report from California, Mr. Porter advised the state will be treating this as a technical violation. Hmm. So a technical violation could be him not checking in. Something technical, not nothing to do with um being arrested anywhere else um you know the things that we thought would be a violation they're not treating this as such they're just treating it as a technical violation okay. meaning that he possibly missed a an, uh, an appointment or going to check in with his PO <laughs> Miss Waldeveld, Waldeveld advised defendant has been in custody in the state of California since late October and the parties are in agreement to the technical violation. Was it October? I just knew he went, um, I thought he went this year. With 30 days concurrent with the time defendant is serving in California. Further, the parties agree defendant would not lose the reduction that was previously agreed to. Colloquy regarding the drop down. Uh, court noted the drop down is not in the judgment of conviction. I didn't see that either. Uh, Mr. Porter advised the drop down would still be on the table. Oh, he advised. So he asked if the drop down would still be on the table. Counsel advised it is in the guilty plea agreement. The court noted the court can do a minute order to correct the judgment of conviction if needed. So that's why we see the amended, uh, uh, the amended judgment of conviction docketed on the 28th on Friday. Upon court's inquiry, defendant stipulated to the y'all got to give me a second because I'm trying to understand technical violation of probation matter submitted court order probation temporarily rewrote and defendant is sentenced to 30 days in the Clark County Detention Center with 30 day credit for the uh, for the time served concurrent with the defendant's California case thereafter. 
probation reinstated. Further court ordered the bench warrant has been quashed. The court noted that the defendant is still on probation in this case and admonished defendant to report to parole and probation within 48 hours of release from custody. Yeah. So his time is running. His 30 days is running concurrent. Once he gets out, all he has to do is report to his PO. So overall, that they are treating this as a technical violation, Mm -hmm. meaning that he possibly failed to report to his PO or he didn't do classes. Remember, he had to do those classes. Basically, some light shit. <laughs> like, Blueface is going to, I think, I could be wrong. I think Blueface is going to be out uh, by, what, this next court date? Um, I could be absolutely wrong, clearly. This is alleged. But I think by the next court date, um, if he doesn't violate, as in, not have any supplements or nothing supplements, any um, substances or anything in his cell, which is still not up for debate, but still is like a question to me. Like, how did that happen? But anyway, if he doesn't have anything there, I think that they're going to let him out. Then boom, he's going to be on the way to Nevada. Um, And then it seems as though from what she's saying, he just got to check in with his PO and he's going to be good. Y'all let me know what y'all got from it. Or I don't think he had to do like a drug test or anything, but something technical. So everything that we have seen him do, (laughs) (laughs) everything that we have seen him do is not going to be considered a violation of his probation. Ah, What do you guys think about this? So all the shit that he's done, they 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 don't it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Please comment below and let me know your thoughts. It is crazy how things can change overnight. It really is. Damn, I missed the part one. <laughs> um okay, shit. I'm I'm gonna have to flip this around. Um don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until then, you guys be blessed. I'm- All right. So I'm going to put part one in front of this.